Hi there, my name's Alan and I'm the head of the UWA Conservatorium of Music and I'm here today to talk about my five tips for brass players. The first thing is that air is the fuel on all brass and wind instruments. We need to make sure that you have enough air and that you breathe in deeply and engage the diaphragm, make sure that we have enough air to support all of the sound that you want to produce. Secondly, it's not just about the volume of air, but the efficiency with which we use them. A guy named Arnold Jacobs was principal tuba of the Chicago Orchestra, and he advocated this idea. The idea that we buzz with our lips, and we buzz into the mouthpiece, and then we put that into the instrument to produce a sound. And we find that if the better we can buzz, the better the tone will be on our instrument. Arnold Jacobs advocated that we buzz on the mouthpiece all the time. You can play simple little ditties just on the mouthpiece, and you can do that in low registers and high registers and all points in between. And the more buzzing you do on the mouthpiece, the easier it'll be to have that range. And the more good range you have on the mouthpiece, the better the sound's going to be that's coming out of the end of your instrument. The third thing is that your lips are muscles, and like all muscles, they need to develop over a long period of time. When we develop a knowledge area, we can do that quite quickly in a short time. But when we develop a skill area, we need to do it a little bit over a long period. So we need to make sure that we practice a little bit every day, rather than trying to learn it all in the two weeks before the exams, because you're going to find your muscles just don't develop well that way. The fourth thing is to think about a rich dark sound. All of the brass instruments we talk about rich dark sounds but there are a lot of different sounds on each of the instruments. So you need to go out and listen to your favourite player of your instrument. We're really lucky these days to have places like YouTube or Spotify when we can go and listen to different players. See if you can find your favourite player on your instrument who produces the sound the way you want to produce that sound. And the last thing I would say is to make sure that you play the music that you're excited about. So that's where you're going to find time to practice if you're really excited about playing music that you love. So choose repertoire that gets you excited and there's where you're going to find your greatest marks. Thanks for listening to this video. We'd love to see you in music if you're at UWA. You can take music as a major or you can take it as a broadening student. Check out the list in the description below for the broadening units that we offer in music. We have ensembles such as orchestra, wind orchestra, jazz band, we have percussion ensembles and choirs, all sorts of ways in which you can engage with music and we would love to see you in the music department if you're at UWA.